All right, so it turns out I missed a couple things that I thought were significant. So I'm going to put out this video where I go back and, you know, take a look at those. It's going to be a lot of quick cuts. Had to, like, revert to an old save file and, you know, there was a lot of nonsense going on with that. <laughs> Might have accidentally ruined one of my backups, but nonetheless, we got back to the save that was made shortly after I beat the game. The backup. So yeah, there's this story icon down here. And see, I thought that was one I had already gotten, but it turns out it doesn't work like that. So, we're gonna run over here real quick. See the story scene that I missed. No, I don't want to fight tower. Where, did I put a... No, I didn't. I need to put a little marker down. All right, first one here is with Amy. Don't know how I missed this. These ruins are almost like a puzzle. I know, right? I don't even know what I'm doing with most of these. I'm just running on instinct. Relatable. Well, the energy that powers them is linked to cyberspace, right? And you took on that power when you freed me. Maybe that link is giving you special insight? Maybe they use that link among themselves. Like, instead of a language, they shared their thoughts and feelings directly. Yeah, maybe. Well, all I know is the idea of the map gets updated in my head, which brings me one step closer to rescuing you. Another thing is that I recorded most of this before, and then, uh... I accidentally deleted the recording because I mistook it for something else. Well, that, that was fun. Next is Sage, right over here. Oh, hey. You show up everywhere. You know, I, I don't think we were ever properly introduced. I'm Sonic. I know who you are. Your age, your biometrics, your weaknesses. You live for speed, are short-tempered, and short-sighted. Oh, <laughs> so you're a fan. But I don't know anything about you, Miss... I will not share personal information with an enemy. Why are we enemies? <sighs> he doesn't know. I don't really get a bad vibe off of her, though. And then Amy's right here. One more Amelia. So something's been bugging me about these ruins. Something. The whole you? reason we came was because Tails detected the Chaos Emeralds were drawn here, right? And now I'm finding digital keys and confinement towers that seem custom made to hold the emeralds. Like half this stuff was built with them in mind. Maybe the ancients used the Chaos Emeralds in the past. We've learned of other past civilizations who did too. Yeah, but those groups tried to use them. And the stuff here seems all about containment. Maybe they knew something about their power that we don't. The Chaos Emeralds are still pretty mysterious, even after all we've done with them. So there's this little area in the pyramid I never went to. There's not a ton here, but it's worth taking a look at at least. Yeah, it's, it's neat. Neat little place. And then there's one sage conversation up here. I think I saw... Th I think I saw this one, but didn't have enough tokens to actually get it. So here it is. You can't just take control of that last titan, can you? I have made multiple attempts, but all failed. And this is the... Last one, right? I don't want any more surprises. I can confirm only four were constructed. Well, then let's do it to it. We're out of time. We've got to save everyone, everywhere. All right. All right, so I totally forgot that I never opened this door. And there's a little puzzle right here to do it. So you have to play a song with these tuning forks. 
And I think this is the only puzzle like this in the game. Yeah, you just gotta hit him in that sequence. And the door opens for you. I, I managed to break this because I just found the fast travel thing. The heart up there. You can get somehow. Probably a spring around here somewhere. Little dude hanging out. I don't know the intended way, but I know my way. There's a little place you can go down here. It doesn't seem all that significant, but you know, it, I thought it was a neat little place. Show, show it. You know, no, no, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, honestly, there's a lot of these little, uh, <laughs> memory token paths. I could probably spend, like, ages just showing these off. We. And like that. Alright, so one thing that I thought was very interesting... You know, when I was going for the achievement, I was trying to get the, you know, all mini bosses one. And I came across this guy. Goss. So he kind of like just flutters around. And he starts sapping your rings. They got to do a side loop around this. As far as I'm aware, again, I think this is the only place this guy appears. So yeah, you just gotta do like this little mini stage. Oh crap. No, I'm fine. I sure hope I made that. I did not. <laughs> and that's the encounter with Ghost. Not much more to it than that. All right, and finally, I realized that I never actually got the S rank for this. And upon going in there, I realized why that was. And that's because this S rank, this S rank time is a heck of a, th a heck of a thing, let me tell you. I basically had to learn some special techniques to be able to pull it off. I will demonstrate. So, the air boost in this game is kind of nerfed, right? It only gets you so much speed. But the thing is, if you already have speed and you run off a ledge, like I will demonstrate here, and do it, yeah, a lot better, right? All right, so the other thing I learned is that the homing attack is cancelable. And that is the trick that I will need to in, in order to get this time. So here we go. Let's see if I can do it. 
again. <laughs> It would probably be faster to dodge that spring, but it's not the easiest thing to pull off. Dang it. To just boost r rapidly, skip the loop de loop. I don't actually know if getting the rings is any faster. Oh. My frames are dying. Okay, and that's not quite enough. Because as you will see, the S rank time is 55 seconds. So, I mean, I like to think I played that pretty optimally. I mean, maybe not totally, but more than maybe your average player should be expected to. Yeah, like skip that. Maybe that's faster. But yeah, the time for this is really tight. Uh, well, I messed up the I messed up the cancel there. Yeah, see, I was mashing the button, and I could not get out of that animation. Yeah, that's what you want. That's what you want to do. Ah, oh, crap! I didn't mean to jump off of that. That ruined the whole thing right there. I'm just gonna tell you right now. We are not getting the time because of that costly mistake. Yep, not enough. Not enough. It's tricky. It's, it's really tight. Oh, that was really good right there. That's what you want to do. Oh, but I didn't I didn't do that. So, it's probably for not I mean, this is pretty clean so far, besides that. Oh, uh, no, crap. Oh, but it, it was good enough. It was good enough. May I, got a little sloppy at the end there, but that's the S rank. So, I mean, I might be mistaken, but I think that's it. I think that's all the major stuff I missed. Like I said, there's probably like a ton of the uh, the memory token paths that I could show off, but it's not, I don't know if I'd consider it quite significant enough. It'll give you something to do when you play though. And you should play it, even if on sale. Because I think, I think it's a very fun game. To talk a bit more about my opinions of it. Overall, I, I had a very good time with it. You know, like... Th this is an idea that's been tossed around for a while. You know, the open world slash zone Sonic game. Okay, that's a little weird. <laughs> I'm glad I got that on camera. But, uh... You know, maybe it's just... Maybe it's based on stuff like Sonic Utopia. Maybe it's just si Sonic Team following industry trends. I don't know. But, you know, it, it, I, I think it's fun. I think it's it's just kind of fun to run around 
you know? That's the big thing you want to get out of a game like this. You know, like, that was a big... That was a big thing they tried to get right with Mario 64, and something that contributes to the game's lasting legacy is... is that, you know, it's just fun to move Mario around. And I, I think that's true of this game, too. Maybe not quite as much, but it's like... You know, it's just fun to run around as Sonic. And that's what really helps in this game's favor. It's a Sonic game with a much higher focus on combat, which I know is not some people's cup of tea. But I will say, I do think it's done way better than it has been done before. Like Sonic Heroes, Shadow the Hedgehog, I, maybe I'd say and Sonic Unleashed all tried to have a bit of a combat focus. And, you know, I don't know how well it worked out there. But they made it fairly dynamic here. I mean, it still gets a little button mashy, but I've, I've heard that of even games like Bayonetta or Devil May Cry, is that they, they eventually get a little button mashy. I mean, I guess the thing is, you know, once you find a working, <laughs> a working thing, a working strategy. It's like, you know, why bother with anything else? That's the complacent gaming syndrome creeping in there. But I, I tried to vary it up a decent amount during my playthrough, but I'm, I'm bad at remembering all the different moves. Uh, music was pretty good. I enjoyed the music quite a lot. I, I think it has a much greater variety than, say, Sonic Forces did, and I, I mean, I'm sorry to constantly have compared it to Sonic Forces, but, you know, that was the last major Sonic game, so it's, it's hard not to think about that when you're playing it. You know, that's the, that's the truth about sequels, really, is that, you know, the name, like, people say what's in a name, but the truth is there's a lot of expectations that come with this sort of thing. You know, this is the next major Sonic game. I'm, of course, going to compare it to what came before. I mean, even if I'm not comparing it to its contemporaries, you know, like Mario games, Zelda games, all that stuff, which I did compare it to Zelda games, because, I mean, look at this. This is Breath of the Wild as all hell. But, you know, it's... I, I'd say it compares favorably, if nothing else. to previous Sonic games. I, you know, it's probably the best since Generations. I'll, I'll say that, I'll say that much at least. Like, my friend Isaac asked me, like, does it live up to Generations and Colors and whatnot? I don't know, but it, it's, I'd say it's at least as good as Colors. I don't know about Generations, but, you know, I'd say at least maybe Colors level quality. I mean, Colors definitely had the superior aesthetics in my opinion. Like, best art direction in a Sonic game, if you ask me. No colors levels in cyberspace here. But I guess that's because of the wisps. But yeah, I'm interested to see what they do with this going forward. Like, I'm very interested to see what the next Sonic game will look like. That's a big takeaway. So what else? Is there anything else I want to say? I felt- I feel like there was, but it's not coming to me. Oh yeah, uh, I guess my biggest complaint about this game would be how many cyberspace stages were reused. Like, just reused level layouts. And I mean, I know they try to paint it like, oh, it's, you know, it's on purpose. It's because Sonic's memories and all that. But, I don't know, it, it really just reads to me like an attempt to save dev time. And I mean, honestly, fair enough. Because, you know, Sonic Team probably is not getting the resources and time they need. I hope that's something for that changes. Probably more so the resources, because I mean, I think five years is probably a decent time to develop a game like this. But they, they need more men on the job, probably. And it's, it's all up to Sega to give them that. But yeah, so the reason I didn't recognize 
most of the uh, cyberspace stages in the last world, Uranus Island. It's because that's where most of the original ones are, I think. And, you know, they were pretty good for what they were. I mean, I, I wouldn't say it's the best level design ever, and the levels last maybe like 30 seconds, but what I saw there was good. And, frankly... Oh yeah, vibrate. Frankly, one of the things I love the most is if you look right here... You'll see me like playing around with this. Is that there actually is momentum in this game. Which is something that Sonic games, like even Generations and Colors, have not had a lot of. And the developer, or the director of the game, has indicated that he wants to look more into that for the next game. Somebody talked to him on Twitter about it. Now, will they do that? I don't know. But, you know, what's here is promising. And we, we might get more of that in the next game. There is a mod, though, that increases... Like, makes it much more obvious, you know? It makes the boost less important. Maybe I'll show that off at some point, but for now, I think that'll be it. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't seen the rest of my videos, like the streams of this game, I recommend you go back and watch them, because of course I do. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you not to watch my stream. <laughs>